Alrighty. Renegade here. Could be doing some mage stuff on my alternate character. First thing is, you want to know about the invisible wall that affects your casting. Do a line up and down. It's got to be straight this way, as well as this way. Like it's on a flat wall, but the wall is on an axis that's determined by your camera. So when you look down, your camera goes, or your wall goes diagonal. But if you keep your neck straight and your line straight, the game will give you about 30% wiggle room. And you'll be able to cast, like... 70% of the picture instead of the whole thing. So normally a capital B is like this for the fireball, but if you have those two things fixed, you can actually do capital D and just draw 70% of the picture. Or the this one here, the pretzel sort of thing. But yeah, that's super useful. Got to know about that. And then also you want to draw smaller, not bigger. If you draw big, you have to be more specific. You can draw really big, and it'll still work, but this takes less time. And then, hmm. shortcuts, Fireball 2. So Fireball 2 is this. The shortcut I use is the pretzel. You go up, down to the round, back up, and through. There's also the capital D. That one's pretty good. Uh, Frost, there's that. But then you do capital P. A lot faster. Also, sometimes capital D will give you Frost. Let's see. Sort of weird. Uh, pushback is normally like that, but I actually do a full circle. Comes in handy. Affliction 2. Try and do a tombstone. That one you do affliction one, do a flat bottom and come around. Or this, the eight ball, which I can sometimes get to work here. There it is. So for those, I go wide, 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 down and around sort of thing. Like I try and make the top of the eight a little wider. And it seems to work better when you do it. If you, try, if you have a skinny top, it will not work. Like if you go like that, you have to have a nice fat top. Next off, wand placement. Go up to your settings. So the standard way you reset it, your wand, you're holding the back of it and it's at like a weird tilt going upward and it's almost impossible to cast. Like it's so hard. You can sort of do it, but it's just not good. So you go to toggle weapon adjustment, flip the wand around. If you hold the grip button, your hand will turn into a gun. So what you want to do is align the wand along with your index finger, but make sure it's yellow so you can grip it. This is like the basic one, and you need to click the index finger, it'll save it. That's a lot straighter and a lot easier than the standard way. The one I've been mostly, or there's actually a different one, Just flip it around. The other one's like the Wolverine Claw, you go between your middle finger and ring finger, right there. Try and get it up sort of far. Like that, so it's going between there. Aim it forward, save it. That one's not bad. But it sort of tilts upward, but it's still a little more comfortable than the standard way. And the way I've been using up until a couple days ago was this one. But you tilt it downward a bit, and then you can make your hand go flat, so the one's going diagonal. Save it. This one's pretty comfortable. Like, it's less of a strain to get it to go. But, I learned a new one the other day where it's the same thing. You get the wand going this way. You tilt it downward. You tilt it left a bit. And then you place it to the right of where your hand would sit and then grip it. So I'm, I have it in my hand. You can see it moving with it. You save it. And this one, for some reason, is fantastic. I can draw like everything with it. Besides affliction. Well, oh, well, there, see, even that. I suck at affliction too. And with this I can get it to work. And it come it's a little more to the side, like to the right, so it sort of compensates for distance. And it just feels more I don't know, comfortable. Oh, wow. 
having a bad run there. There it is. Put the fireball twos. Oh, another thing is uh, speed casting. How that works is you want to draw the picture really fast. Double tap A, and immediately go back and draw in the picture again. So go up and around, double tap. Up and around, double tap. Over and over. And eventually you can get fast enough to where you can do it faster. But the shortcuts are better with that, because the capital B is considered a three stroke. You go up, around, around. One stroke, two stroke, three stroke. The capital D is two stroke. You go up and around. And then the shortcuts are generally one stroke. Like the pretzel, you go around and in, and it's one quick motion. That's why it's so much faster. Also, the smaller you draw, the less the game has it detect. So about the size of like a book page or like a soda can. I've actually been going about the size of a Red Bull. But yeah, that's pretty much Mage.